Michael O'Donnell here with Purdue Extension. We are back at Oak Ridge Farms in Pendleton, Indiana. John Paul Franks is the owner operator farmer of Oak Ridge Farm. We are here back on, I believe, May 13th when he was planting no till planting soybeans into this zero rye cover crop. Today it is June 1st. And this rye has completed anthesis, so it needs to be crimped to be terminated and to limit the amount of viable seed that is set by this rye cover crop. The beans are a little bit shy of V1, just starting to get into V1. As we walk the field, we did see some beans that appeared to be crimped that will be dead, but overall, it seems like that loss is at a low percentage. He planted high, 210,000 seed per acre to account for losses, either from poor seed to soil contact through all this residue and also to account for potential losses with this delayed crimping. Just wanted to take a look here, uh, this section that's been crimped, it's an outside pass along the woods edge and then you see some traffic coming across but I wanted to just show you what this rye looks like laid down. Pretty good ground cover. And we can see the soybean is here, you know, there's that first trifoliate just starting to open up. So we're right on that verge of V1. But those beans will come up through. The concern is, is some of these. So right here, we've got beans. The stem was crimped. So this guy is most likely done for. So how much of this stand got terminated? How much of it came through like this. He's going to leave a portion of this field for another couple days. The concern is that there's another threat of rain here in the next few days, two to three days out. There's the potential for more rain. So he wanted to try to get most of this rolled down. So we'll wait a little bit to let these beans get a little bit further in a part of the field and see if he gets less of these beans getting crimped and killed. So dealing with real world farming, having to balance a lot of variables of where crops are at, what mother nature's doing. And one of the challenges is this field, uh, parts of this field have pretty poor drainage. So it makes it hard to be timely in getting in the field at times. So. Michael O'Donnell here with Purdue Extension. It is June 25th. We are at Oak Ridge Farms visiting the transitional organic no-till soybean field managed by John Paul Franks, owner of Oak Ridge Farms. This field was planted on May 13th into standing rye and then roller crimp on June 1st and June 2nd. So we're about three, four weeks out from that roller crimping, about five weeks from planting. If you recall, this, this field was drilled, as we can see here, a solid stand of soybeans. But we, we also noticed that a lot of the rye is still standing. It's shorter rye. So whether there's some variability in, this, uh, in the seed that was used for this rye cover crop, where some of the the rye was a little delayed in physiological maturity compared to the rest of the stand or possibly during the planting operation into that standing rye if that damaged and stressed some of these tillers and resulted in them being delayed in their physiological development not sure but that's this is going to result in some viable seed being produced here in this field and something that's going to have to be considered in the future as as uh, the rotation plays out couple other things there are some grasses coming in here despite this nice mat of rye there are some open spaces this soil was a little bit wet during crimping and planting it's a heavier soil this field is not systematically tiled so some compaction may have resulted in some of these grass weed seeds germinating soybeans are at about v4 growth stage michael o'donnell with purdue extension it's july 10th we are at Oak Ridge Farms, Pendleton, Indiana, visiting the no-till organic or transition to organic soybean field. 
that we've been visiting through the 2020 growing season. And we have a beautiful stand of soybeans. Great color to these soybeans. Pretty much have closed canopy or very, very close to it. You can see we still have some of that standing rye through this field that didn't get fully terminated with roller crimping. And yeah, there's some, there's some grass weeds escaping as we noted in previously in this series of videos, some of the grass that had been germinating and just getting established. But overall, what we see is a nice solid stand of no-till drilled soybeans in this transitional field. If we look in, in here, we can see the soybeans are moving into reproductive. We see flowering all the way, all the way up the nodes of this stem. But great ground cover. Yeah, some grass weeds coming. But all things considered for what's gone into this field, So I think this field has a great chance of uh, moving through this season, hopefully get some, some nice timely rains as these beans move, from, move through the heat of the summer in July and August and finish out this growing season strong and produce a good transitional soybean crop. So we want to thank John Paul Franks of Oak Ridge Farms for allowing us to uh, follow this field in this first half of the 2020 growing season.